Hi and welcome to another Geist tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to take a look at pattern editing and pad and layer editing. I'm going to start by going to my Geist factory content and loading a preset from the engines folder. It's called F Expansion Studio Kit. It's an acoustic drum kit that we multi-sampled in the F Expansion Studio and it's a good example of getting the most out of Geist programming. We'll start with pattern programming. Up in the top left of the pattern programming panel we have four tools. A pen tool to input notes, an erase tool to erase them, a select tool to select multiple notes and a multi tool. This is the tool I suggest to people that they learn with because it does all three of the other tools in one. Left click to enter and paint notes in, right click to delete them, shift and drag to select them after which you can drag and drop or alt drag and drop to copy and finally for the context menu we can alt and right click so let's program a simple pattern I'll start with my hi-hats and I'll just paint in a simple 16th note pattern as I'm painting in if I keep the left mouse button pressed and move the mouse up or down I can adjust the velocity of all the notes. If I press ALT and move the mouse button up and down I can create fade outs and fade ins with the velocity. Finally if I click the right mouse button while still holding the left one down we can cycle through a set of preset patterns. This is a really nice way of injecting a kind of random element into your patterns and coming up with grooves that you wouldn't normally do. If we right click on one of these small triangles next to the track name we can see the automation graph for that track. Here we can see the velocity and we can just paint in various amounts we can also use this insert menu to insert different patterns including a random one which is quite nice but... we can change the automation lane focus to uh, quite a number of things which is all good but if you want to look at more than one automation lane at a time for any particular pad we can go to the multi graph view by clicking this button here in this mode we can see up to four automation lanes for whichever pad we currently have selected here's the closed hi-hat we can see the velocity in the top lane but let's have a bit of fun with the filter I'm going to go to the pads and layers page and press the layers button which means I can make changes to any layer and it will reflect those changes in all eight of the layers on this pad so I'm going to set the filter to about halfway maybe a little bit of resonance and we'll go back to the pattern page and change four of our automation lanes to filter cutoff filter resonance and even filter type Now in this last lane why don't we automate send one level. Send one level is our send bus to auxiliary bus one so what I'm going to do is put a delay on this bus, a fair bit of feedback just so we can hear it well.
So you can see there that there's a lot of flexibility in programming automation. There's some other nice workflow related functions up here. The duplicate button will repeat the entire pattern. So there we go, I've just doubled from one bar to two. If I press it again, it'll go from two bars to four. Number of steps can also be used to change the length of the pattern. If you alt click the plus or minus button, it will halve or double the amount of steps. There we've halved it to 32 and there we've increased it to 128. Unlike the duplicate button, it doesn't duplicate the pattern itself though, just the amount of steps. Restart and gated mode relate to how the pattern is triggered with MIDI. With restart on, the pattern will always start from the beginning when it receives the correct MIDI note for that pattern. If the restart is off, then the pattern will always be synced to the main transport. The gated function, when enabled, means that the pattern can only be heard when the MIDI note is actually held down. As soon as the MIDI note is released, the pattern can no longer be heard. Remix mode is worth explaining as well. And what it does is it basically turns the pattern into a monophonic pattern, so you can only trigger one pad per step in the pattern. Moving back to our Studio Kit preset, let's take a look quickly at the Pads and Layers page. This page will show the pad and layers settings for whichever pad we currently have selected. Let's have a look at the snare. At the top here is my main snare. I can rename it. I can solo or mute, I can delete it and I can lock it to prevent it from being changed when loading other presets. The pad settings are here. We have the usual gain and pan. We have an output so we can send it to one of 16 outputs or to the buses. And over here we have the layer mode options. We can velocity split, round robin and have random layers. The velocity split has an auto button to automatically calculate the correct velocity splits for the amount of layers currently being used. If we go and have a look at the layers tab we can select each of the eight possible layers in turn. Again, we have pan and gain controls and sends to the four auxiliaries. We have a fully featured filter with lots of different filter types which can be activated or deactivated, tune and fine tune, velocity to pitch and a pre-delay. Again, we can send individual layers to different outputs Choke modes for doing hi-hats and other choke types. And the ability to change from one shot to gated, which is quite interesting back in pattern mode. It means we can have proper gated notes in the patterns. So it's actually possible to do bass lines and melodic lines and things like that. I'll leave that on one shot for now. We also have two assignable envelopes and a very high quality time stretch algorithm. One thing that's really worth learning here are the three modifiers in the top left here. If I have layers enabled, I can change any parameter on a single layer and the same parameter will be changed on all the layers. If I have pads enabled as well, it will change all layers on all pads. If I have row enabled, it will change all layers on all rows. The rows being the different colored rows here, one to four, five to eight, nine to 12, and 13 to 16. And that pretty much covers it for this tutorial. <laughs> <laughs>